What's going on with Michael Moore? He's ignoring questions or something you were telling of me? Of course. That guy, you know, who, who, doesn't, who hasn't figured this idiot out already? They revere him at these fucking uh, Occupy events. He's been uh, trotting about the, the country, going to these various cities where they have these Occupy things, and he's a hero. He's a hero. He speaks, and they uh, just look at him like he's Christ. Like he's fat Jesus. Well, this is in his wheelhouse, let's be honest. Of course. It's exactly his demo to sell his fucking books. And he beats the shit out of this so-called 1% when he goes down there and asks them uh, to give. And at one point he asked them, hey, why don't they cough up a million dollars each, these motherfuckers? And some guy said, hey, uh, Michael, you're, you're one. You're one of the 1%. And boy, did he ignore that motherfucker. And then these freedom of speech, man, freedom of speech people just start trying to drown out the guy that was asking him, hey, Michael. Right. You know, what the fuck? Yeah. So, so, yeah, there's it's uh, a weird there's spot for him. that. I mean, what is he doing? Is it's he, not a weird spot. It's an exact spot he wants to be in. He's selling books. But is he He's a multimillionaire. But I mean, uh, is he donating money? Is he helping the cause financially? What is he doing? Why don't people like him and like John Stewart, who I watched last night uh, on The Daily Show, uh, just lambasting the so-called 1% who he is a an entrenched member of, uh, if you want to give more money, give it. Fucking fork it over. You're allowed you're allowed to give as much money to the IRS as you damn well please. You, you don't have to give uh, just what they tell you. Right. So give an extra million bucks. That'll help somewhere right. down the line. But me personally, I don't feel like giving anymore. I feel I'm doing my share. That's my opinion on uh, what, what's going on. And legally, I'm doing everything uh, I can, but I don't want to give more. If they want to preach that this bastard 1% isn't doing enough, you're part of it. Give. How about give till it hurts, fat man. How about giving away half your wealth? You're right. Get I mean, ahead. Because they're, they, they're in a place where half their wealth, they would still be very, very comfortable. Right. Yep. How about that? If, if, I mean, if you're that for the cause, mm -hmm. how about saying no more fucking private planes, no more first class. Oh, Any yeah. money I would, I would uh, go in first class, I'll fly and coach and give the rest to the government. There you go. Feel free. It is strange when these celebrities show up. It's like, We're, I'm here to support you. And they all look at him like they did it to Russell Simmons, too. Like, what? You know, how, you know how rich you are? But Michael Moore, they just, they revere him and because he comes across like, Hey, I'm just the ordinary guy from Flint, Michigan. Look at, oh, I'm yeah. against the fucking system. He is the fucking system. You think he's on private jets when he goes from one yes. occupied to the next? And, and the guy brings it up. The guy that was, we got uh, the clip. Uh, uh, yeah, let's, let's hear the clip. Because first of all, he can't fly fucking coach. That fat fuck could not squeak himself into a yeah, coach seat. Yeah, but he could afford the two seats. Uh, well, that's true. And first. Hey, hey, well, I'm trying to ask the, rich, the most richest people in the world on yeah. the 400 Club, man, to donate a million dollars a piece on it. Well, at least ain't nobody asked them yet. So right. we're saying they automatically. All right, I'll repeat that. Asked them, we're so appreciated. I'll My repeat that. Thomas Muller. Thank you. And I'll show Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. What he just said is pretty good. What he just said was that the richest 400, we know about them, right? Yep. <laughs> they have more wealth than 150 million Americans combined. All right? 400 people. And I think I think what he's trying to do is say, look, my level's not the problem. Right. Oh, really? Yeah, so that's what a lot mm. of these guys do. My level's fine. This should be a fine level. We're talking about the people above me. You know what? That's They're how, not talking about that. But that, but that's how they that's try how, to justify it. Well, that's how some of these guys are trying to justify it. I'm sure that's how John Stewart justifies it. It's like, no, this level's fine. This isn't this isn't greedy right here. Yeah, please. We're talking about the people above me. Well, everyone standing there isn't because he's he's firmly no, one no, of the one percent. No, no, but that's what he's saying. Oh, that's what he's saying. Yes. Yeah, but even the people that are protesting aren't saying that. Oh, I understand, yeah. but he's already saying that with his little speech here because he knows that, that he knows what's coming. He knows there's eyes on him going, "What the fuck, Michael?" You yeah. know? Yeah. You're, you're kind of that uh, 1% they're they're, you know, talking about he's here. He's exactly the 1%. Why does, he, just, why does he point out the fact though that like and I agree with Michael Moore on this point like him, John Stewart, these guys earn their money through doing what they do, but they're not they're not fucking asking the government to, uh, I guess, pay things out and then taking giant pay. Like they're not Neither doing the I. things that the bankers. No, no, I know. I'm talking about the bank, not you. I'm talking about the bankers. Oh, I know. The ones who I have a problem with are not these guys. They're not guys who make a lot of money. I don't care if you make a billion dollars. I don't have a problem with fucking uh, guys who make fifty million a year. 
it's only the ones who make it a certain way. Yeah, that, that makes perfect sense. But do you understand these people in these parks don't look at it like that? Yeah. They're looking at people that just have, have carved out a nice living for themselves as being evil, <clears throat> and anyone with more money than they have uh, is bad, and that should be divvied up in some way, shape, or form through higher taxes and, right. and, and whatnot. And believe me, uh, you're just as evil to them, Jimmy, as the fucking uh, uh, bankers. I hope so. You're just as oh, bad. Oh, absolutely. Hey, you want to hear about the shit monster? What? Remember uh, I said that supposedly they're sending some of the dregs down to oh, these Oh, right, right, right. Finley from Manhattan. Finley. Finley. How are you? Hey, man. Hey. Yeah, I'm a fireman on the uh, Lower East Side. Yeah. And uh, we, we, I'll just say we sent the shit monster. You guys know about him. I'm going to send him in for the homeless shopping shit spree. Monster. Yeah, we could have had the shit monster for the homeless himself. shopping spree. Oh. We never had the shit monster for the homeless shopping spree, right? No, you didn't, because the uh, <laughs> lawyers, um, but. shut it. Uh, yeah, they shut it down, whatever. But there's a homeless guy known as the shit monster, and, and Finley personally sent him to Zuccotti Park to hang out. Hey, what does nice. he do? What does he do? He shits, shits himself. But let me just, yeah, you, as soon as you touch him and try and take him to the hospital, as like a defense mechanism, like a skunk, he shits <laughs> he sh Oh, that's he right. He shits himself. That's right. Yeah. I forgot about that part. Yeah. <laughs> so then you don't want to touch him. You don't want to do it. But I didn't send him down there because I want to fuck with that. Well, maybe a little bit. <laughs> it was mostly because I don't want to deal with him. Yeah. So he knows, hey, I go down there. I get free food, lodging. People uh, hand me out stuff. And he went. And I haven't seen him since. Now, did, you, did somebody tell him that and he actually listened without shitting? Oh, no, he, this is after he had shit himself. And I finally said, hey, fucko, listen, don't you know what's going on downtown? They're giving out food. They're giving out shelter. They're giving out water. Go down there. You can hang out. You can do whatever you want. Fucking the said, shit monster. Wow. How many times? His he must just stink. That's great. Oh, he's got he, a name. Dude, he, he leaves puddles, puddles of shit on the, when uh, he shits. It seeps through. What the fuck is he clothes. eating? It's a great defense uh, mechanism. He doesn't. He just drinks. All he does is drink. Oh, oh wow. he's got fucking alcohol shit. They're not healthy. Wow, that's a good one. There you go. The shit monster might be at Zuccotti Park. Thanks to Finley. Hey, go see him, celebrity. And really fast, Brian and Philly. Brian. Brian. Hey, uh, good morning, Opie, Anthony, Jimmy. Hi, buddy. Hey. What's up, Brian? Um, hey, how you doing? Uh, Philly has a uh, a hardcore homeless population. They're basically professional homeless, insane people. They just will refuse any kind of help, shelter, assistance, or anything. They live in tents outside all year round, either like by the library or the art museum or under the Vine Street Expressway or whatever. Uh, and they also, uh, like whenever anyone is giving out anything for free, they just know, they kind of gravitate toward it like ants to a picnic. I used to be um, homeless myself in like 2006, but I went through the shelter system, and there's a few people... They kind of are there legitimately because they, you know, made bad decisions or lost their jobs or whatever. But most of them are just, they're just insane. Yeah, filthy fucking well, bums. Well, and they know where the free food is. So it's not really helping the cause because you got a lot of people going down there that they don't want to join the cause. They just want the free eats. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Like when I was in the shelter, like people would come back at the end of the day or whatever, and and everyone would exchange information on like who's giving out the showers, who's giving out the clothes, who's giving out the food, you know, And they, you know, they just know, and uh, and that's really all they're there. Yeah, I think we were saying that the other day. There's there's a whole network with the homeless, and yep. and the word gets out where, yeah, like you said, where where the stuff uh, they need is is happening that day. So. And right now, man, it's a gold mine. Every day, you're guaranteed to get a free meal if you go to one of these Occupies. So, thanks, Brian. No problem. Have a good one. All right, back Bye, to the buddy. Michael Moore clip. Yeah. And this man, Thomas, is requesting, and I think it's a very simple request. Would each of these 400 just give back a million dollars each? I... <laughs> How about a million of your Thomas, 50 million? How about a million of your 50 million? Yeah, supposedly he's worth 50, 50 million. million. Of so, course, that's it. that's so, not even beyond the realm of so, possibility, of course. So why doesn't he start this? That would be a great Go story. Ahead. A great Go start. Ahead. Michael, you start you this. You start. And, and show how easy it is to do, because if, you, if you're worth 50 million, that's an easy thing to do. Yep. Yep. That's right. But I don't like the fact that he's not differentiating 
the top 400, it's like I'm, I'm jealous that they have a lot more than me, but there are people that are extraordinarily wealthy that really did earn it and not on the backs of scumbag moves sure. with the government. There are people who so, are legitimately he, just fucking invested and made their money. Michael Moore would be giving up uh, about 2% of his wealth, I guess, right? If he did that, yeah. two, a lousy 2%. So fucking, hey, what about so, it? So start this, Michael. Come on. And, and see what other celebrities would join in. I love that somebody fucking yelled, started yelling that out. Love it. Yeah, and Call they're right. Them out. Fifty million. How many million of your fifty they million? Spend, they spend that on lunch. And he's walking so, away. Is he? Yeah. Um, but listen, I know they. Um, um I, I, uh, uh, how many? How many? Thank wasn't you so expecting much for all you've done. Thank you. I love Portland. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, he starts walking away. That's oh. annoying. So he didn't. He should have addressed that. He. Why didn't he address that? Yeah. Why didn't he address it? That, he didn't address that. No. No. Right. Please make way for him up these stairs. Michael. Michael. How much your own 50 million are you going to donate to Occupy PDX? You don't want to answer that? Aren't you part of the 1%? Aren't you part of the one percent? He should at least answer the guy. No, That's terrible. No. That looks terrible. He should He's have had an answer for that. Hypocrite. Who is the one percent? Someone books. Where does the one percent start? One percent starts at anyone making more money than these fucking assholes. Yeah, believe I don't know. me. I don't but know is there a number? It. I don't of, know of how much you're worth. That you're part of the one percent. It's the one percent of uh, the is, country that uh, is Michael you know. Moore the one percent. Oh God, if you're making fifty yes. you're worth fifty million. Yes, yeah. sure. Yes, I think so. Well, you're, you'd be considered by then. The and one percent is a figurative thing now. It, it's it's not technically the one percent anymore. It's become this thing that's a dirty word for anybody that has uh, made money and has more than you know the average person in this country. They consider them the one percent mm -hmm. below me. He really should have had an answer. He should have assumed that maybe he has someone, an answer. Buy someone, my book. someone would get to him and ask him some tough mm -hmm. questions, man. Yeah. I mean, you're going into that territory. Holy shit! You better be prepared. Yeah. They're all over the place. But he knows down there. He knows it's a fucking. It's his own crowd. You might get one or two people that'll blurt shit out like that, but then the crowd starts turning. Uh, one guy is all and, it takes. And yelling. One guy is all it takes. Well, now this clip's everywhere. The That's crowd. true. And now he looks kind of stupid. He looks really stupid because uh, he's not specifically saying they should go after the people that fucking took money from the government, took mm. our money, and then took these giant payouts. Those people yeah. should have the payouts taken back by force, and they should just be fucking right. smashed in the street. <laughs> like, those people should be violently have the money taken back from them. Right. But not just because you earn money. Those guys are like the half of the one percent. Mm. Yeah. Or whatever. You know what I mean? That number is a lot lower than one percent. Is that true? What? The 1%? In 2009, it took just $343,927 to join that elite group. What, yeah. making that a year? Yeah, it says the or average having... average made $960,000 a year. I think that's annual income, yeah. Annual income, $345,000, let's say. And you are part of the scumbag 1% elite not doing anything. Uh, percent. Fuck you. So Michael Moore is absolutely part of the one percent. Yeah. So Wait, he, why is he is too? So, yeah. <laughs> so Michael Moore, you should be giving up your million if that's what you want. Come on. The one percenters to do. Can you imagine the amount of press start it. he would get if he if he did that? If he took a million dollars of his money, right, and said I, but he wouldn't because he's going to give it to the dumb government. Yeah. He's dummies. He knows that. But if he did that. But he, he should do that, Jimmy. You know why? Because I think Ant was mentioning this, this is good for his business. He'll make he'll make that money and and more. Absolutely. What? Because uh, I'm sure he's filming. I'm sure something. Oh will yeah, come yeah. Out. Believe me, he's going to document. Whether it's this a book, shit. a TV show, a movie, he's going to make a lot of money off the Occupy movement. Yeah. He absolutely will. Yeah. Why not just cover costs on the next documentary, and uh, take no money from it? Right. Pay your costs and then give take no money. Give the million away. That would be a great start to your movie. And then go around with your dumb fucking camera uh, talking to other celebrities, seeing if they're going to give up their million. It's great. And then you can take your stupid bullhorn and yell at buildings again. Douchebag. That's when he lost me. Really? You're yelling at buildings through a yeah. bullhorn? Yeah. I understand how it's symbolic, but, you know.
That's not too brave. He did something else too that was really weird with the uh, uh, with the. I kind of like his movies in general. Yeah. I really do, but taken as entertainment. But then he gets kind of douchey. Not as his. Fucking... What was it? The Cuba one where you might have saw another boat of ten miles away that he was yelling at. I think that might have been one of them. Yeah. Cuba. He was getting close to you know Cuban waters or something. Yep. Help me out. I think. Was that it? Yeah. Was that in? Sicko? I think that was a sicko. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, trying to get take the guy for help. But yeah. he's yelling at the boat like they could possibly hear him. But it was obviously for his film. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Taking him for health care. Right. Stupid. Cuba Gooding Jr. or something, you know. <laughs> Make way for the one percent. <laughs> Fifty million dollar Michael Moore. Here he comes. Michael, we love you. Make way for the one percent. Hey, Michael, you flying the corporate jet back? Huh? Your own private jet? Who's paying you? 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 chant going. Yeah. Instigator. Who's paying you? Who's paying you? Who's paying you? So much for free speech. So much for free speech, right? Who's paying you? So much for free speech. At least they weren't yelling pervert at him. That'll make you move, man. But uh, the guy. That's what they do. That's what a tactics. prime example yeah. of, of what hypocritical douche fucks they are. This guy's got his fucking yeah. uh, shit to say, and they just try to drown him out because your, your hero, Michael Moore, is, is using you to sell books. You should be listening to all voices. Yeah. Those people should be all about that, right? And the guy, the guy wasn't saying anything that isn't true. And they should be questioning Michael Moore. They yeah. know he's worth, I mean, some say $50 million. Most of the people down there know he's very well off. Sure. Oh, but he's just one of them. Heart, yeah, yeah. Mm. Fuck him. Yeah, that really is annoying. Can take the it corporate is, huh? jet. Extremely. It's great. And if Michael Moore were to turn around and said, "I've never flown a corporate jet in my life," maybe that's not true, though. <laughs> but I'm, no, no. But I mean, if he had an answer, yeah, or something like that. But he just, you can't just walk away from that. Try stuff. to shut him down, but no, couldn't. Yep. Good. So. He did. Man, I don't know how this ends. I mean, I said the other day, I think a murder will end it. <laughs> yeah. I think a murder in Zuccotti Park is going to end the whole thing. A freezing death of and I somebody say, that isn't just, you know, from homeless. And people are getting more and more uptight down there as the days go by and the weather yeah. gets colder. So I think that's how it ends. But this thing is in every city now, man. Yeah. How the fuck you end this? I don't know. Yeah, it's, uh, I think you're right, though. A, a death. Yeah. Some, some type of tragedy.